guys, it's Peachy Pie 55 Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make my cotton candy slime. So you'll need a container to mix in, some glue, I'm using Crazy Art. You also need some glitter, mine's extra fine, and camo pink. Next you guys will need some borax. So mine's 20 mil team borax, and you can find this at a grocery store, or a department store, not department, you know what I mean, like Walmart. <laughs> And then you'll need something to stir with. I'm using chopsticks that you can get at any um, Chinese restaurant. So yes, I'm, I'm giving you guys a thorough view at what my chopsticks look like. And since they're free, they're easily disposed. Alright guys, so next you're going to take some warm water. Mine is not boiled, it's just very hot tap water. And you're going to be making your slime solution. So you are going to be taking a spoon and put the borax in the spoon and then put it in the water and then mix it. And this is going to be your slime activator. So basically the slime, or the slime, the borax water solution creates a chemical reaction with the glue which makes it stiffen up and become slime. So yes, just keep doing that. I'm going to keep doing that until you're dissolved, but next you guys are going to need some red food coloring. Mine's just gel food coloring because that's what I have, and ew, that looks like blood. Yuck, and it looks like my finger's bleeding there. Oh, gross. Even though it's not, so you're just going to put a tiny, tiny bit of the red dye to give it that pink look. You don't want it to be red, just a little bit. Um, so that's all you guys are going to need. And I'm adding a little more because I'm going to add a lot of blue to make it a bigger batch than I normally do. So just get that ready, and then you're going to add the glue on top of it. So there you have it, and I'm giving a close-up of the blood like stuff. Okay, so I accidentally lost the clip of where I added in the glitter and stirred it in, but that's basically what you're doing at that point. And now you're just going to take your Borax Water Solution aka slime activator and just add that in and um yeah so now you're going to watch me stirring it i forgot to cut off the video during parts of the stirring so it is quite a bit weird but anyways just keep mixing it and adding it in so as you guys can see it's stiffening up here but then when i stop stirring it it becomes liquid again so that you don't want that unless you're making oogla basically so as you guys can see it got very soupy in there for a minute um and it's still sticky as i'm showing you um so I'm going to go wipe off my hand. I forgot to cut the video here. Anyways, add some more borax water mixture in as needed. You do not want this to be like putty. You want this to be like slimy slime. Um, so yeah, and I'm sorry my, um, sorry I lost the clip. I think I thought I was recording, but I actually wasn't. And I'm not too sure about that. So I lost that clip. But yes, so just keep stirring it and adding it in. Okay, so as you guys can see, my slime is pretty much formed, so I'm just going to be taking it and kneading it now. And the reason I'm doing a voiceover is because my family was watching a TV show and I'm trying to cover that up um, because I wasn't talking because I didn't want to disturb them. But just keep kneading it because it will be a little bit sticky, but not too bad. So just knead it and knead it in your hands, just like play with it, until it's no longer sticky. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit more borax water mixture and mix that in with my hands. And it will, oh, my iPad fell over. Okay, um, it will get a little more wet, um, but, you know, just keep kneading it and it will all come together. There's the beautiful sparkle mist. And um, my iPad does not have autofocus on it, so um, it is a little blurry at this stage, so sorry about that. Um, yes. Alright guys, I know my favorite part about the slime is the poking sound, so here are some poking.